Well, hello everyone, this is Gamer, and welcome back to Max Payne. Let's, let's continue where we last left off, shall we? We are in the nightmare mode again, but this time, instead of getting knocked out from a drug and a drink, we got OD with a drug of V. Valkyr. So yeah, some mysterious woman injected us with um with a valve here, and that's not good. Who's there? Max? Max, is that you? That sounds like Max's wife, Michelle. Max? Where are you, Max? So far, he's not saying nothing about anything. Locked. No, please, Max, no. I'm sorry. Please don't, Max, no. Please. Locked. Ringing. The letter was staring at me. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a graphic novel. The truth split my skull open, a glaring green light washing the lies away. All of my past was just fragmented still shots, words hanging in the air like balloons. I was in a graphic novel. Funny as hell. It was the most horrible thing I could think of. Breaking the fourth wall? The bartender is shiny stuff and dreams are made of stupid necromancers. He seems like a banana wrist having strayed too close to the constellations on their shaved skulls. The there was a bad line in the prank call. Someone spouting insane babble, I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu. And the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. Wait, the gun was my my phone? Yeah, I'm losing it. The weird piece of paper looked dangerous. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a computer game, Max. The truth was a burning green crack through my brain, weapon statistics hanging in the air glimpsed out of the corner of my eye, endless repetition of the act of shooting, time slowing down to show off my moves, the paranoid feel of someone controlling my every step. I was in a computer game. Funny as hell, it was the most horrible thing I could think of. Okay, we're breaking the fourth wall here, people. Don't lose it. It's Valkyr. Drunk, snap out of it. Try to remember. It was a bad line in a prank call. Someone spouting insane babble, I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu, and the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. Yeah, man, it's you. And that gun phone again. What's up with the... I don't know. Well, at least we don't have to worry about that anymore, I guess. Well, that's blocked off. There's no point of this with that. Creepy baby music. Okay, so I'm back inside the house, but instead the wall the wallpaper is my little baby's room. Hmm. 
Oh no. Uh uh. I do not like that slow heartbeat thing. I'm not a fan of that. Let me save. Because I do not trust this part. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, good. Oh god, this is slippery. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Oh no! I slipped! Yeah, this part's hard, guys. It's like the floor... Like the flooring with the blood smear. It's like... It makes it the floor slippery. Before, it wasn't too bad. Jesus Christ. I don't trust the floors on this game. I'm gonna save. See what I mean? See what I mean? It's so dang slippery. What the heck, man? Really? I don't understand anymore. Can I make it? Oh, I got lucky. Let me save. Because I don't trust this nightmare. Oh, I think we're supposed to go over there. Good. Okay, I know where to go, but let's see what happens if I go the wrong way. I just want to see what happens. Let me save. I just want to see what happens if I go the wrong way. My God, that is the sound of like a baby getting torture. Like literally, the hair on my arm just stood up from hearing that. Oh my God! No, don't you dare slip, Max. Come on. Jesus Christ, man. All right, we know where, where we need to go. Make it good. Max, no, Max. Murderer, you killed her. It's my other me. My double, my evil me. Max, something happened at the office today. A strange memo. 
something about Vikings. Honey, I gotta run. You can tell me all about it this evening. Have a nice day, darling. The bullet holes were rubies on her chest, blood glowing on her ivory skin. She was so beautiful. The killer was smiling. The flesh of fallen angels. Chapter 1, Take Me to Cold Steel, Part 3, A Bit Closer to Heaven. Slowly, the green nightmare faded, leaving dark stains on my soul that would never come off. I felt like flatlining. I was all shook up. I woke up in a cold sweat, sick and tired to the bone, lying in a puddle of my own puke. The hag had said, take me to cold steel before it had all gone crazy. It was a clue. The only one I had. It took me forever to crawl back to my feet and hit the road, but when I did, I drove straight to Cold Steel Foundry outside the city. There was a whole lot of action around the place for a freezing winter night. Trucks coming and going, men running. I had the drop on the mystery witch. She thought I was dead. I was on her blind side. I was going in. The bad trip had put me in a crazy mood, adrenaline pumping through my aching veins. Staggering on the mill roof in ice and snow and wild wind, I was a ninja. My kung fu was strong. I wasn't hitting anybody. At best, I was Superman and Kryptonite about to fall through a skylight, down to where it was all going down. A half-abandoned industrial area in the middle of nowhere. The factory was a perfect front for any number of illegal activities. belly of the plant, molten metal boiled and bubbled like a witch's brew. Still have the baseball bat? Ooh, I got my lead pipe back. Nice. And I got my Beretta. Sweet. Let me go over here. Let me save. Alright guys, I'm going to end my video here. If you like this series of videos, please give this video a like. Comment on this video on how I like the game so far. Subscribe to this channel and you'll see more gaming videos like these. Alright, this has been Gamer. Peace out. And I'll definitely see you on the next episode of Max Payne. Where Max Payne is going to hit the Cold Steel Foundry. Alright, bye everyone.